right, Josh here. I'm at the JW Marriott Bangkok. Out of every Marriott property in the whole city, I chose this property because it's been recently renovated. I love the design. I also love that it was a luxury property with Marriott. And wow, 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 look at this lobby and the check-in. Everything so far has been absolutely perfect. I'm so happy to be here. I can't wait to show you the room. Let's check it out. And welcome to the corner executive suite here at the JW Marriott. Come on in. We have the best upgrade you can get in this whole hotel. I am blown away. Check-in was the most perfect check-in I've ever had in my whole life. We pulled in. They opened our doors. They took our bags. They escorted us up to the club lounge. They sat us checking in. Not a single issue. Fast check-in. No problems. They gave us, they offered us breakfast in the restaurant and the club lounge, and they let us pick welcome amenities. We ordered mango sticky rice, incredible. But let me show you this room. The best room you can get here, I think at the JW Marriott, the highest you can get for the suite. I used a suite night award to get it. We have this little welcome arrival area here. We put our bags down, they delivered them for us. They were like already here when we arrived. And then we have like wraparound windows. Our room just goes and goes and goes and it keeps going. Now this hotel was recently renovated, so that's why I did chose to stay here. But I just have to say, it is very beautiful. It's all new. I would never have stayed here before the remodel. But this is the biggest factor that I loved about these new rooms, is these really cool like wall decoration murals because it really ties in Thailand while you're at the hotel. Just very cool floor to ceiling remodel. So everything is new, everything is fresh. I love this unique carpeting. You also have the wood, so you've got the different layering, which I like. Um, now, right away when we came in, they had a beautiful note here for me, welcoming me, as well as with that ambassador said, us thanking me, they have some fruit, and they're also gonna be delivering that mango sticky rice, as well as some complimentary welcome drinks very shortly. I just, uh, we have the big, beautiful couch here, the first TV, and we have one of the best views here in Bangkok, looking out at the incredible, incredible skyline. So here's the view from the other side of this room, but I just have to say, these are the fresh, beautiful flowers waiting here for us. It's very rare when you have this many beautiful, fresh flowers. Absolutely incredible. But just this room, all three rooms, just make you feel so nice, so relaxing. It's just incredible. I absolutely have, I just love this place so far. Now over here, we have this uh, divider section that's also very nicely well lit that is then dividing the office space. So I just wanna show you over here, the office space. Keep in mind, this is manual cur curtains. They're not automatic. Now here we are, the second section of the room. We have a great work desk. Um, so while you're working, you can kind of look out at Bangkok, but I might honestly move the chair on that side to, so I'm kind of looking straight out, but it's a huge workspace. So this JW Marriott's also do focus on catering to like business travelers. So they always usually have a desk. So you have a nice desk here with the light, but overall just very spacious design because this is a corner room. So here's the corner part of it. But again, you've got the curtains that do close as well, but just very unique. And I'll also point up up here where the curtains are. You also do have that lighting, which is very unique. We do have the automatic thermostats over here so you can control everything. And then this is where we have the coffee maker. It's not an espresso, but it is a different brand. It's called uh, Capri Stuff. But anyway, it still looks nice. You still have the pods and then they have the coolest like um, cups to use. They're just very unique, very nice. You've got all of the amenities up here as well. From the ice bucket to the, you have the more glass waters. Every hotel we stayed in Kosamu, we had the same type of glass water. So that's very nice because a lot of times people want to stay away from the plastics. We have a hot water maker down here for the tea, a whole tea selection up here. And then it does also have a fridge and it is full with some drinks for purchase. So that's this uh, section over here. Now we're going into the master suite. This has a big thick door that you can, that you can open and close, but I like that it's kind of like a, it's not, it's like a dark wood, um, but it's very nice. Here's the master suite, but going in, I wanna start with the bathroom. Everything is completely remodeled. So we have the floor to ceiling marble, which I like. It's bright, it's light. You've got these really cool, unique lights here by the mirror. We have this square shower. It's not super big, but it is having a rainfall shower. It also has now the um, aromatherapy pump soaps, which aromatherapy is the JW Marriott branded soap, um, which is a lavender smelling soap. But overall, very luxurious. You do have the two sinks. 
um, very sophisticated design here. I love, I love it. Now, the one thing is the tub is small. It's the smallest tub I've had on the whole trip. It's very, very narrow, very, very small. So keep that in mind, but at least it does have a tub. We also have the toilet. It's all in one room. The toilet is not separated by its own room like a lot of places where it is. Coming out of the bathroom, we have the robes hanging up in here. I will be honest, I do not approve of the robes because they are literally paper thin. They at least have robes, but they're very paper thin. They're not plush. So that is one thing that I will say, I, they do need some more plush robes. We do have an ironing board down there. We do have the safe. And then here we have the slippers. And these slippers, I also do not approve of. They're just very chintzy, very thin, and they kind of feel a little bit like sandpaper up top. They're not like the highest quality of slippers, but at least they have them. I will be honest, I do not approve of the robe and slippers. Great, so now coming into the room itself, we've got a place here you can put your bags out, but I like how it goes from this like wood design to the wall. I like when the walls change, but wow, wow, wow. Look at this view. Look at this incredible lookout of the Bangkok skyline. This is my first time here in Bangkok. It is tremendous. So this room is so spacious, so large. I mean, you can really spread out here, but just look at this room. Look at the indentation of the ceiling. The windows are not floor to ceiling because it's an older building, but they're still very nice and it still provides an incredible view. We've got this standalone TV here in the middle, so you can position it however you want to watch TV. We have a little table over here with a little note and they give us a little elephant. And then on the mirror, I noticed they, they welcomed me to the JW Bar Marriott Bangkok and wrote me a little thing with some flowers. I've never had that before in my whole life. But you have a second couch in here, so you can also sit here on the couch, maybe move the TV over this way to kind of watch the TV from that direction or from the bed. But the bed, wow. This is the centerpiece. So this is also another main reason I wanted to stay at this property is because of the bed design. I love the sophistication of these lights. They almost look like glass. They look so so they're just incredible, especially how the backboard goes all the way to the ceiling and you just have, it's just gorgeous. Same thing with this other light because the rooms in the pictures I've seen, they have these different lights, just incredible. It's so beautiful, so nice. And we have that beautiful mural as well on the back here, which I just love those murals. They just add so much to the room. Now over here, we do also have another fridge. This one is empty, so you can put things in here. And then it has two more complimentary waters. And then this just is, these are just empty drawers to like store things in. Um, and then a unique, like, I guess this is a decoration for the room, a unique um, boat piece. Overall, I am so impressed. This view, this hotel, this room, best corner suite you can get. Absolutely incredible. I can't wait to check out the rest of the hotel. Let's go. The JW Marriott is an exceptional choice if you're looking for a five-star luxury getaway in Bangkok. I have to say the service here is some of the most flawless service I've ever received in the whole world. Every staff member was so kind, caring. They were always there to open the door, which is actually very uh, not as common that I've noticed lately. Now, the property is fully renovated, and that's actually the main reason I chose to stay here. Look at the lobby. It's all fully decorated, new, new furniture, new everything. Now, it is very nice lobby, but I will be honest, in some parts, the lobby does look still a little bit dated. I feel like they definitely could have like renovated that water features a little bit more. It also like here has a little bit lower ceilings, but otherwise I do approve. Also, the elevators are really, really old looking. They definitely could have modernized those more. Now, the room was absolutely beautiful. All the hallways are gorgeous. The elevator bay, we got upgraded to the corner suite. You can use a sweet night award for this room if you are Marriott Platinum and higher, and you chose that as your welcome gift choice. Now, it was confirmed five days before we got here, which was awesome, so I was really looking forward to it. But I will say the bathroom was a little small, but otherwise, absolutely love the room. Incredible views, and it is just exceptional. Even the basic rooms are very beautiful with this new design. Now, Marriott does have other really nice properties in the city, including the Athene Luxury Collection property and the La Meridian which I might want to stay at next time. They also have two other luxury hotels, the St. Regis and W. However, they both looked extremely dated. That is why I decided not to stay there. Now, this was the night view from our room. I literally sat in bed and just stared outside. Definitely one of the coolest city views ever. And then this was them delivering us the mango sticky rice that we decided for our welcome gift choice upon check-in. 
So if you're platinum and higher, you get a welcome gift choice like an amenity. And this is actually one of the best amenities I've ever got in my life. Now, all the artwork in the room, there is a purpose to it. It actually symbolizes and blends traditional Thai elements and modern architectural ideologies. And they actually have a whole card explaining the different things in the room, including like this sculpture, a mural, and a poem that is all tied around Thai culture. Now, this is the executive lounge. If you're a platinum titanium and ambassador, you get two free guests access to this during your stay. Now, I will say international club lounges blow the U.S. club lounges away. They have like full on meal for breakfast. They literally have a full on dinner. So many desserts to choose from. They even had like some light snacks, I think, for lunch. I'm not quite remembering it right. But just during the day, you could go in and get all kinds of yummy juice, including milk tea. They even had an activity one night where we were actually like making these beautiful flowers, which was just gorgeous. Now, this is the JW Marriott Cafe. We actually did have breakfast here. I don't know if this is common that you can choose to have breakfast here instead of the club lunch for every guest. But for us, they did give us that choice. So we decided to eat breakfast here just because it's a lot bigger than the club lounge and it does have more options. But it just wrapped around. My favorite part was all the juices. They had about like 15 different juices to choose from. And that's always my favorite thing for breakfast. They also had omelet station, of course. They had traditional like uh, noodle soup bar as well as just literally everything you could ever imagine. It's definitely one of the most fantastic breakfasts in the world. This was my noodle soup bar, which I loved. They had so many options to choose from. And of course, it just keeps going, going, going. The property does have 441 rooms, so sometimes breakfast can get pretty crowded. At the time we were there, it wasn't that bad. But if you wait till kind of the tail end of breakfast, I think it can get really, really full and crowded here just with having so many rooms. The hotel has other restaurants like this, the New York Steakhouse, also the TSU Japanese Restaurant, the NAMI uh, Steakhouse, which is just another Japanese steakhouse, the NAMI uh, Steakhouse, which is Chinese, and then the BBCO Coffee House. And then they also have the Manhattan Bar. Now, we were not able to try any of those, but they are options. Now, this is the disappointing part, which is the spa. I'm sure service was great, but just look at how old this looks. This is the most disappointing part of the whole stay. I was not expecting it to be this bad. It is extremely dated, extremely old. It definitely can use renovation. So I definitely do not approve of the spa. However, this was a positive part. It did have a like hot tub and a sauna just in the men's room so that was very nice now the outside pool wasn't that bad but it definitely could be better but the service again was excellent now the fitness center wow look at that green carpet it was not inspiring i did not work out here i would rather run outside on the streets the equipment was also very old and it just did not feel right at all i didn't even want to be in there Okay, now for the review of the JW Marriott Bangkok. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the room. The room here is going to get a 5 out of 5. I did use a Sweet Night Award to get upgraded to the corner suite here, and it was so massive, so beautiful, so impressive. I love the remodel, and I'm so happy I decided to come here. I have just been blown away from the two flower arrangements, just the bed design, the walls, the cool... Um, the murals kind of on the backdrop they actually represent they tie the culture of thailand together um, with modern um, elements so the room itself especially this panoramic window here incredible the basic rooms are a lot smaller but they still have a lot of the same design aspects and really cool lights and um, like uh, paneling on the walls and stuff so they're still going to be nice just a lot smaller but definitely five out of five on room next up is going to be inspiration Inspiration, I am going to give this hotel a four out of five. And the main reason is because of the spa, fitness center, and lobby. The spa and fitness center, in my opinion, are not good. They do not look good at all. They're very old, very dated. I did not like the green carpet. I just couldn't really stand either one. I could not do a workout in the gym, not inspiring. The pool area also seems a little older. Well, it's nice. It's just it needs a renovation so i'm not sure why they haven't renovated those areas of the hotel but they really just kind of dampened the whole um, overall experience um, that i had here as well as the lobby the lobby is nice but it still is a little bit on the older side as well as the elevators they're just old as well they're not like the new and modern that match like the room theme. If the rest of the hotel matched the room theme and design, the hotel would get a five out of five on inspiration, but the rest of the hotel just isn't quite there yet. Um, the, I will be honest though, the club lounge is inspirational. I really like that. It's just, again, the, the pool area, spa, fitness center, and lobby just 
are just too old for me. They just didn't inspire me very much. Especially, we will be going to the Park Hyatt, and after going there, that is like five out of five on inspiration everywhere you look. This just doesn't compare to that. Um, next up is gonna be the service. Service here is gonna get a strong five out of five. The moment we arrived, we were greeted, taken to the club lounge to check in. The club lounge check-in was seamless, flawless. They had uh, three welcome notes in the room for me, one on the mirror, two cards. They delivered us mango sticky rice as a welcome gift and offers us the club lounge access and breakfast in the restaurant. Now, if you're elite member platinum and higher, you do get club lounge access. I'm not sure if all members can also choose breakfast in the restaurant. It might be an extra charge. They would just kind of give that to us, um, but otherwise the breakfast as well was phenomenal. Uh, but every request we've made, every staff member we've walked by has been so kind, so caring. The service here has been top notch, absolutely perfect. Next up is gonna be the value, what I return. I am gonna go ahead and give that a five out of five. If I'm in Bangkok, I'm definitely gonna stay here again, mostly because for me, the room is the most important factor at a hotel. I just love being in the room. And with this room that I had, I was very comfortable here. I just love this design. If I was in Bangkok, I definitely would come back. However, I'm still gonna give it a five out of five, but I really do hope they can renovate the fitness center and pool facilities as well. It would make me that much more wanting to come back. But overall, very good score. And then um, also for the pricing, now the rooms here are gonna be about 200 US dollars per night, plus or minus, I'd say $50 or so. Um, the points redemption is gonna be anywhere from like 30 to 45,000 points per night. So it is gonna be a little bit better to use your cash to stay here as using points isn't gonna make that much sense. But overall, lovely hotel. I'm so glad I decided to come here. I've been wanting to come here for over three years and it at least met my expectations. I'm very, very happy uh, to have stayed here. Let's go check out the Park Hyatt Bangkok.